This time, I decided to be an extra good person. Not only did I play the L did I not play the LT of N minus three times on camera, I also didn't bore you guys by flipping the tower up and upside down once again. I want to be right side up. I can't those things. Hey everybody, it's the Mechmaster 14. Welcome back to more of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we completed Stone Tower Temple and broke the curse that was placed on Akana Canyon. In this episode, we are returning to Stone Tower Temple because, if you remember, there were actually three chests containing stray fairies that we couldn't get because you know, the chests were upside down on the ceiling when the temple was upside down. But now the temple can flip right side up once more so you can get those chests. Oh, and by the way, it's, a, it's probably important to note that if you return a stone tower after you, after you flipped it you know, up, you know, upside down, then it actually, then it'll actually stay flipped upside down until you manually flip it right side up again. It's confusing. But anyway, that's straight fairy number 13 in, in that main room. Now, straight fairy number 14, we move east from this main room. We have to swim down here using the Zora mask and get you know, this chest, which which contains stray fairy number 14. If I can, if I can actually get to it, <laughs> I like it. that. That chest, the fish can't get me because he's stuck behind the chest. Oh, and also, a few episodes ago, I said that it that Skull Kid needed to patch the leak in this place because it was. Yeah, because it was raining so hard, even indoors, which meant he really needed to fix the leaks on the ceiling. Technically, I guess since the, the tower was flipped upside down at that point, he, he, needed to, he needed to patch the leaks on the floor, I guess? I don't know. But anyway, this room! I hope you all remember this room, because this is the room that gives everyone so much trouble. Anyway, moving on. We just had to go through a few more rooms till we get that final, the final chest with a stray fairy. By the way, I, I guess at this point you can you can see why I love Stone Tower Temple this much. Even even if I didn't like the boss like I expressed last episode, I did think the boss was pretty lame. I don't think I'm gonna make it this time. I, no no no! I burned. Can I just do this? No, I can't. I thought maybe I could make that jump as a Deku scrub, but no, I can't. Yeah, I like it. I, I love. I like how Stone Tower Temple requires you to use all your masks, like Deku, Goron, and Zora. Even if even if Skull Kid really needs to patch the leaks in the floor, and even 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 if I did think the boss was pretty lame. I can't believe I'm failing this room so much. Like, I'm, I'm not sure why I'm failing this room this much. Like, last on the original playthrough of the dungeon, I got this room first try. Don't blow me up, bomb shoot. There we go. And now we should be good. Like how I start falling right there after I said we should be good. Anyway, back in the boss room or the mini boss room depending on what, what orientation of the da of the tower you're in right now in this room we hurt ourselves but we also get the last chest all right so now let's do the X I'm not I'm not okay I was gonna let this the stray fairy circle around me for a little now let's do the extra lazy thing and soar out of the temple even though we are pretty much right by the entrance because that's just how lazy I am. And as you can probably guess, our next stop is back in Akana Canyon, where, where we will drop the stray fairies off with their fellow stray fairies. Alright, we stand on this guy's tongue, and play the song of soaring once more. We're back to Akana Canyon. And... This 
Grey Fairy, the Grey Fairy Town is right up here. You know what? Bunny Hood for the win. There we go. Oh, and also, you might be wondering if you look down at the bottom left corner, you're gonna notice I have no money, even though I had well over 300 rupees in the last episode. That's because I, I, I deposited all my rupees off camera. And you're going to see why in a little bit. And now we meet the blonde stray, the, the blonde great fairy. I almost said blonde stray fairy. But no, it's the blonde great fairy. Oh, compassionate young one. I am the great fairy of kindness. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I grant you the fairy sword. That looks very awesome. And I said that completely out of sync with the music. You got the great fairy sword. Decided to see you use it. With the black rose that on it, the great fairy sword is the most powerful of all blades. I'm gonna see you whenever you're overcome by weariness. Yeah, they said they said the Gilded Sword was the most powerful of all blades when, when we got that. Even though it was only the most the third most powerful. And the Great Fairy Sword is only the second most powerful of all blades. However, it is the most powerful of all blades that you can use anywhere. I'll explain later. Now, the interesting thing about the Great Fairy Sword is that you have to set it to C, and it's a two-handed sword. And just as you set it to C, you also have to use the C button you set it to to use it. Now, since it's a two-handed sword, you can't really use your shield. You kind of just crouch down. And what I want to do now is I want to swim very slowly into this little, little cavern here. Probably should have put on the Zora mask, but whatever. Go through here. Swim very slow. <laughs> Jeez, this is actually really slow. I guess, I guess it makes sense since the, the river is running the other way. Oh, and also, if you're wondering why... Why the why the great fairy sword has to be set to C instead of our instead of our sword button is because if you remember from Ocarina of Time the mask screen replaced the equipment screen so you so we can't really set we can't really set different swords while we're in the equipment screen because it no longer exists and you can't permanently replace your sword because if you if you permanently replace the Gilded Sword with the Great Fairy Sword, then you'd have no way of using your shield, and the Mirror Shield is required to solve some of the game's puzzles. That was just my doorbell in case you heard it. Anyway, we shoot that sun with our light arrow. Hee hee hee! It seems somehow you've managed to send the the the, the Akana's wandering spirits into peace, but outside Akana. There are still swarms of wandering spirits, lingering, uh, ling lingering regrets. What are the, what, in ones of, in ones that in this room want to meet again with, I, I couldn't read that. Go see them if you feel like it. Yeah, I'm sure they'll welcome you. <laughs> yeah, go see them if you feel like it. Uh, whoa, that was an epic jump. Anyway, you probably didn't understand what he was talking about because I stuttered a lot. But, in this room, we have Dinolfos! We haven't seen you in a while, dude. This is, this is where the Great Fairy Sword really comes into play. Like, it's so powerful. Like, I, I can one-shot these Dinolfos. Or, actually, are they Dinolfos or Lizard? Okay, they're, they're, they're Dinolfos. I just want to make sure. But yeah, Great Fairy Sword is powerful. And I'm I'm gonna say out of the advanced spin attack, double magic meter, and, and, and double defense, I have to say the Great Fairy Sword is probably my my favorite Great Fairy's reward. Like it just looks so awesome. And in that chest is the reason why I wanted to deposit all of my rupees before we came here. The reason is. Weird jumping in the No, the reason I wanted to deposit is you can probably guess we're going to get a silver rupee, which is worth a hundred rupees every time we go through one of these rooms. And and in this next room, yay! We're fighting Wizard a fifth time! 
However, this fight is entirely optional, so don't worry. If you don't want to play him a fifth time, you don't want to play him a fifth time. Actually, might, would my Great Fairy Sword be more... Ah, he, he's kind of up higher, so I don't think my Great Fairy Sword would be very useful. And, also, the only new ability that he gains is that... It, is that he... Is that you can't see where he is on the map. So, yeah. He actually got me there. I think that's the first time Winter has ever, has ever hit. Anyway, that's it. Yeah. And also, this is the last time we're fighting Wizrobe. I promise. I promise this is the last time we will face Wizrobe for this Let's Play. We've had four mandatory encounters with him, and this one is optional. Just so you know. I mean, I, I guess that I guess Wizrobe is kind of a simple mini boss, and he's pretty easy, so I shouldn't be complaining about it too much. But still. Why, uh, why, why did we have to fight him four times and five of you are doing this thing like I'm doing? Anyway, we own here. And we already seen war up there, but we, but we didn't look at him in first person view. We looked at him with, with our bow and that just doesn't count. Wonder, what are the names of these? What are the names of these bubbles? Oh, ta ta they actually don't have a name. I I didn't know that. Hey, anyway, I'm just gonna use my typical strategy. Get get right next to him. Just spin attack. Oh, and also something interesting is that with the great fairy sword, you can't actually use charge to spin attack. Yeah, you know, so kind of use the sword once and then stop. And wow, I actually did not get a lot of the Wow, I did not I did not do as much work as I thought I did. My thumb is really hurting because you know, I'm like, even though I'm using a game here in color, the, the little rubber grip on the thing gate actually came off, so my thumb is really hurting right now. Don't kill a shark. No! I thought he had him. Oh, sure, now you... There we go, I actually got him. Alright, can I... Nah, I don't think... Nah, I can't get him. Yeah, in my opinion... I don't... What is my second... Is my second least favorite mini boss? Uh, obviously my least favorite is the wizard. Oh, also there's health in here. I actually didn't know that. Alright, come on. Come on, Ward. Open your eye again. At least not when there's bubbles in front of it. Alright, now he, now he can attack his bubbles easily. Play on the screen a lot. Yeah, you're actually, you're actually really going to have a slow down frame rate on this fight because you're going to be getting your sword to so much. You know what? Last bubble. I got it. I got it. You know what? Oh, <laughs> I actually killed him and I didn't even intend to do that. <laughs> That's fun. I actually just... I was just doing a spin attack to finish off that last bubble and I didn't even mean to kill him. Also, if you were to take a picture of my thumb right now, it is actually very red and some of the skin on it has come off. So yeah, it, my thumb really hurts right now. But nevertheless, that's, st that's still three mini bosses done and we've only got one more to go. And now, we have the return of one of my favorite mini bosses in the game, the Garrow Master. Uh, I'm actually not sure what my favorite mini boss in the game is. It's either the Garrow Master or Gomez. 
I was wondering what that little humming is out outside. Again, it's actually, I think it's just somebody's lawnmower or somebody's motorcycle. I don't really know. Yep, he commits suicide once again. And he, I'm pretty sure... No, the cutscene doesn't play that time, so you have to avoid him yourself. Or, I'm actually not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure if that actually damages you. No, like, I, I think it might, but I'm not sure. I've never actually tried it. But anyway, that's the last mini boss we defeated. And hee hee, you really are an amazing person, Mickey. It seems you've somehow managed to heal our souls. Maybe I shall vanish soon myself. Well then, hee hee hee. And that makes a chest appear. What could it be but a piece of heart? You collect your two pieces so far, collect two more to extend your life energy. Alright, so this chest. That is our that is another that is another heart piece we've gotten, and I'm not entirely sure if this is true, but I'm pretty sure you need at least 16 heart containers to get that. Not sure if, not sure if you actually do and wow, great great going, like you just walk in the water. Alright, so, I think that's all we're going to, I think, I think that's all we're going to be doing for this episode, so, next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we'll be doing a few more side quests, and actually, now that I think about it, probably only one other side quest, it, and, I guess after that, we'll be resetting time and taking care of more side quests before we finally go off to face Zelda at the top of the block tower. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps support my channel and obligates me to make more of these videos. But with that, see you guys next time. Mechmaster, out.